Hello, and welcome to episode 3 of Looping Highway. Keeping with the apparent tradition of making each of these episodes different from one another, this episode will be a tutorial on something I've added to most of the cities in this world. As I'm sure you've noticed, I've made working traffic lights using command blocks, item frames, and armor stands. I didn't know much of command blocks before, but with the help of some kind people on the Minecraft forums, I got it figured out and functioning. And so, without further me showing off all the new buildings as well, here's how to make them. So here we have the timer loop, just a simple set of repeaters, nothing that complicated, each going to command blocks at different points. Now, these command blocks have commands for changing the lights. So let's see here, go back to the beginning. First we have an execute command, which says at every single armor stand in the world, with the name East-West, of course all the command blocks on the other side are the ones for North-South, it will go and execute another command at coordinates that are the same as that entity, and that other command that it will execute is entity data at all things within a radius of 4, that's important, it'll change their item in the case, something that only item frames have, I believe, to be stained clay, or stained hardened clay, with a damage value, in this case 5, because damage value is what determines which color it is, 5 being lime because green was a bit too dark. So of course the other command blocks will have this same command with different damage values and different names at the beginning, to be the different three colors for both east-west facing traffic lights and north-south facing ones. Alright, so, over there I've got another traffic light already set up that we're going to go and make work, but I forgot to put an item frame on it, so let's go theft one from this set. Alright, get on over there, plop that in place, and then you have to put the armor stand in the spot where it'll still be close enough to that item frame to affect it, but if you got a bunch of traffic lights really close to each other, you'll have to do some stuff to make it work. So then we go in and put this command in here. This will both give the armor stand the name, so that it'll be seen by the command blocks, but then visible, so it's not seen by us, since these things are a little ugly. And now it works. And so, of course, for the other ones, you'd want to name them north-south. And that's really all there is to it. I mean, it does get a little bit annoying having to go through all of the traffic lights you already have doing that over and over again. But, when you're done, you get it to work. And it is good. No. One more thing. When it comes to where you're going to place that controller loop in your world, it turns... I found out that even though usually when you go too far away from redstone stuff it stops working, a few of the chunks around where your spawn is are always kept loaded. So as long as you keep your control thing somewhere within that region, it'll work all throughout the... all throughout the world, and be able to change all of those item frames no matter where you are. Another thing is the timing specifically. This is, of course, something that you can set to whatever you want, but I went ahead and tried to get something that made a bit of sense. For how long green lasts, well, I simply just looked at Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and got 10 seconds for that. For how long yellow lights last, there's actually quite a bit of discussion on that. I went ahead and set it to 3 since that seems to be about something that lots of people look agree on for most situations. And I couldn't really find any information on how long I should make both sides be red for, so I just made that a short little while. And then that's it. Alright, so of course thanks for watching, and I'll probably make another video one of these days.